And you know what did is this? Let me get what I want. If I was president, I'd get elected on Friday. And you're live. Good morning and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Isaac Wallace, and I'm here with Paul, the handsome one here. Wait a minute, I messed up. I was and I wasn't mean mugging anything. Okay, you weren't mean mugging anything? What, what, what do you call what you were doing? That was confused. <laughs> <laughs> that makes you dazed, so confused. it all works out. What's confused, dude? <laughs> oh, man, we're just trying to get there. All right, we are on location at Tom's Coney Island with the crew. Well, well, well. And there's our guy, cameraman number three, Wide Shot Dennis. How you gonna Wide Shot Dennis? Dennis is uh, wanted in three states. And wants some breakfast. Yeah, and he wants a free breakfast. That he bre said if he got on... Oh, I thought he said he was gonna break fast. No, no, he said it, he had to be paid if he was gonna be Oh, on that's show. right. That's right. Welcome to the pros. And he was looking for some caviar or some kind of some kind of something. Uh, what's it? Avocado toast del grande. Something. And then we are uh, also here with Grumpy. Grumpy. Yeah. I can't get Grumpy. Grumpy. He's backwards from my yeah, Grumpy's, my camera. There's rules against trying to do. Yeah, that. that might break the camera. Grumpy, good to see you this morning, buddy. How are you? Uh, and then we got Wolfman Jack in the back. All right. Leave Wolfman alone. Leave Wolfman alone. No, he said, please, please use. Oh, I'm not bringing him over here. That's what you mean. <laughs> Anyways, how was your, uh, how was your week? Wow. I'm gonna let you go first today because I have got a plethora of stuff to tell you. Ooh, yeah. I got some news. Oh, you got some tea to spill, huh, big boy? Well, oh, I got my phone stolen on Monday at what? the gym. That was what? great. Yeah, yeah. So, so some big girl beat you up and took your phone? That's not the point. You said you were at the gym. And, I was and at the gym. Was it a physical confrontation? Did they no, no, like no, no, no. I'd leave my phone in the car because I don't use it because I'm working out. And my phone started moving at 5.15, which the car wasn't moving at 5.15. So that was great. So someone needed it, whatever. So got a new Is phone. Is that all? Wait, wait. So they wait a minute. Don't they? they no, stop. Stop. You, can't, you, you can't say some stuff like that and not go into detail. So that's I was all in they the took. Gym, which is weird, right? Well, in my camera, they stole my camera. So. Well, that makes sense. Now, okay, never mind. You can go on now. Yeah. I just can't. I was really glad that we got to relive that and play reverse talk on that. Well, I just can't see anybody breaking into a car and just stealing a phone. Right. Who's going to risk 15 to 20 years in jail for a $600 phone? I can get you a list. We'll make it alphabetical. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Girls and boys. Yeah, yeah. Switching back and forth. All right, did you hear the news, though? Uh-oh. With uh, your boy Trump is back on Twitter. Well, why, why wouldn't he be? Well, he had been kicked off. Right. Right. Right, but he and Elon are buddies now. You know, since Elon donated that big chunk of money to I'm his campaign. I'm not sure. Now you're telling me about that. And yeah. I didn't know about that. You didn't know about I the hundred million zillion dollars. I don't know if it was two billion. My phone was stolen on Monday. This I've happened been months out ago. This happened weeks ago. Months, weeks. Yeah. Which is it? I'm going to say weeks ago. He gave it a hundred billion gazillion dollars or something like that. That feels like a lot. It's a lot. It, it was a like lot. It. And then he came out and said, electric cars are cool. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm saving I'm sure up, that's not political. I'm saving up a hundred billion dollars <coughs> oh, okay. in hopes that I can get him to do reparations. I think <coughs> if we just offer him a percentage is that what it of is? the total it's ticket, a business deal. he'll pass it through. Yeah. That, that's you guys consider our options here. We come up with a hundred gazillion is it a gazillion? Let's let's try instead it. of just doing it yourself. Let's, let's try one gazillion. One gazillion. One gazillion, and if he gets like ten percent of one gazillion. So there's million, billion, trillion, gazillion. I don't know where tri millions are in that, or if I just made it up. Tri millions. Tri millions. Not, yeah. Trillions. Tri tri millions. I think there's tri millions before trillions and quadrillions before ba billions. <laughs> ba 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 billions. Or is it tera billions? I don't. Know. Wow. After ten bucks, I'm lost. Yeah, I don't know if, if my online wallet goes that deep. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> a 
anyway. So, did you so get... I mean, well, how do you think that's going to affect things? I mean, he's on. The, he's got his own social media. So, so is it true social? Is he just going to cross? Do it. And so you know, social media lets us talk about what we want. Right. So this means he gets to talk about what he wants. So I'm still a JFK guy right now. But I mean, so he had his. Uh, but his it's going to affect followed the whole... followed him the true social, right? And yeah, but he didn't have a hundred million. Oh, okay, well now everybody else there's a lot of curiosity seekers probably. Well, worldwide, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's gonna be. Right. He has a hundred million. But didn't he have a hundred million? I mean, how many did he have on social? I don't social? know. I'm not. I don't follow him, so I don't know. I don't know. I guess I should, but. You really should. Do you? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I should follow. I I I, I want to say that. For some reason, I started getting. Um, Donate to Trump, you know, buy his silver I just coins, got one of buy that. his bobblehead, buy his mug, buy, buy his bear. the golden, I think there was a gold statue of, it was just, the golden hair? It was just sickening, it was just Nothing? sickening. The golden it, helmet? It was sickening, it was sickening. It, I, I, I kind of vomited a little bit did in my mouth up in your every mouth? time just I saw, I, I kept mm. imagining, you know, John F. Kennedy doing that, mm. or Barack Obama slinging stuff while he was, you know what I mean? Making money while he's making money. The billionaire that don't need no money. Well, Taking all this money from the people who need the money. Mm-hmm. I don't, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. You gotta That's make it make sense works, to me. Though. What politician you know uses their own money? They don't, but they exactly. usually take it from the rich people. You know what I mean? And they they organize packs and all this little yeah. work around and so then they, they can get do them it. to vote the way they want and they can get car companies yeah. and road contracts like and all that kind of stuff but now you know they're taking it from the poor people that at best is going to get people. milk i got to get my for my, educa- my you know, golden helmet that, that at the best they're going to get is a free lunch program at the, at the school mm. Well, that helps the kids. That's something, it's I guess. It's something. It could be worse. It could uh, be worse. At the end of the day, typically they give us nothing, and they keep it, and that's just the answer. That's. Yeah. But it's up to us for our communities to come up with good ideas for them best in that they can't say no, right? Like our veterans program, or our jail program, or, you know, the outreach, celebrate recovery, the, the, the stuff that you're doing with Juneteenth. Like, but, all that stuff's good. But it is counterproductive if we've got the industrial complex just. I just think it's what it is. Fighting against you. Their job is to make money, and they you don't want to give out, it away. You want them out, and they want them back. You know what I mean? Each one of them is sixty grand to them, and well, if you fix a sixty grand asset. Don't you think it's a thought process difference? One side wants money, and the other one wants to help people, and they want them to give money to do it. Right? Yeah, but isn't it a banging your head against the wall kind of thing when the powers to be? What do you do? Quit? Because it's no, hard. No, no, because you always have successes. You make sure your it's ideas just means are good, that you right? Can just be more successful with the uh, sure. with course. the blessing of. You know what I mean? Of course. I just not a money person. I I'm very much about. I enjoy helping. Well, Same how, as did you. you. You had your event, right? Uh, yeah, the golf outing. Yeah. How, how's the golf outing go? Very good. Very. I very under, good. I don't understand golf outings. You don't understand golf. I outings. don't understand. Do you understand your... sports? Uh uh-uh. uh. So that. Well, then help. that all makes sense. The whole competition, and I'm better than you, and nice try, and then we do it for a good cause. So I feel good about destroying you at something. Nothing. No. Nothing. I don't. I don't have that desire, and, and I don't know if I should. Don't know if you should. Right. I don't know if I should, but I'm looking for. Hold on a minute. I got See, a like guy. This right here, wait a minute. I got a I guy that's gonna jack you. Just for you. See this. This is my championship ring back in the day from uh, from a semi-pro soccer, the Central Michigan Soccer League back in the day. Nice. Yeah, see? Let me see how It used to be really important, and now I don't really actually care, because it doesn't actually matter. Why right? not? Because it was just something that I accomplished that we got to do, and uh, it doesn't make me a better or worse person, right? I think just it does. Thing. Where's Rich? Rich! It says you're in here. Hey, how's it going? I'm here. I, I got a black video here. I can't see you. I'm in the... Uh, I can see me. I can see I me. I can see me. <laughs> Hold on, Rick. Let's see where you are. Here we go. This is a, a call-in. Um, our first remote guest ever. Well, what's he calling in for? 
Rich is a guy that's doing some great stuff in the community. He's got a um, uh, program coming up. I think it's tomorrow that he wanted to talk about. But all I got is a black screen. Rich, talk. Say something. No, all I got is the black screen. See? Well, what's he want to talk about? Well, he's just going to have to talk about it. And I'm going to have to put a picture or something up. Hold on a second. Let's do this. All right, Rich. Listen, well, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you about 60 seconds to plug your event. Go. Hey, how's it going? I, uh, it's tomorrow from 10 a.m. until about 7 or 8 o'clock. And uh, at 10 a.m., I have a basketball c uh, clinic for boys and girls ages 8 to 14. And um, got a couple of choirs. I got some young comedians that going to come up and do a, a comic strip and stuff. Um, free food. So I just need everybody to come on out. We're trying to uh, start something here to where we are. Uh, we got kids that's on the right path and keeping them on the right path because uh, I want to talk. I want to talk about good things when it comes to kids and not all of these uh, heartbreaking situations. All right, here you go. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a time and a place. Time, a place, at and a cost. Ten o'clock, Ballinger Park. That's when all that activities start, and also I'm, 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 I'm excuse me. Also, I'm awarding uh, Kiana Dotson for all of her great stances against violence in our city. Yeah, we uh, like Kenyatta. So y'all just come on out, and all the speakers and the choirs and stuff starts at four. Or we're gonna have a point of order free throw competition also. So uh, color fight. So y'all just come on out, get ready to have a good time. Now you think and I don't also, know if you would to like to donate to this and and mm. some more events, just uh money cash out me at all uh, cash out sign or uh, <coughs> capital U, capital F, capital T, capital L. United Flint through love. Thanks for all for everything. I look forward to seeing everybody and send those donations. Thanks for the donation, Paul. All right, Doc, man. Hey, I wish I could have got you up, but all I'm seeing is a, is a black screen here. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I see myself clear in my camera, and my thing said my connection is fine, so. Well, I'm going to blame it on you, man, but we'll talk again. Uh, good work in the community. Uh, appreciate you doing what you do. Well, right? I, I, we appreciate you doing what you do. All right, yeah, all right. So, what are they going to call that? The community update uh, section of the show, or what should that be? Yeah, we can call it that. <laughs> That's what we we'll call it. Hey, it's back, call it. Well, it's back to the bricks. Let's call it that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what we're going to do. Did you do any back to the bricks activities? So, you can, United Community Addiction Network, we'll be down there Saturday. What's supposed to rain all day? I don't know, it makes the car shinier, actually. What but do you mean it's um supposed to rain today, tomorrow? You're gonna be down there. Where where are you gonna be? Saginaw Street, are you kidding me? Well the what place part of Saginaw be, Street? It goes the whole street. Doesn't it go to Pontiac or or, or Holly or something? From your house. It's two blocks. Okay, I thought maybe it's right downtown. You know, I've been there. I've been there are once or twice. From nine to first. And we're just gonna have all the beautiful cars and all the beautiful people. From 9th Street to 1st Street. Basically. Okay, so you're going to be in the downtown. Yeah, yeah. The okay. gallery is what we call it. Okay. Oh, uh, really? I get the whole full eye roll? No, 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 no. I, I, Anyways, you know, I love back we'll to be Rick. in front of the jail. We'll be doing the, the hot dogs and the Dunker Cop, which is my favorite. And, uh, you the know. The Dunker we, Cop is yeah. your favorite? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because even if you miss, they still hit the button, which makes me happy anyways they have all the beautiful cars that last year that beautiful dodge viper down there what's your like what's your cup of tea i like the old cars define old define uh, like model t yeah a little, a little above anything that's oh uh, you like a putter you like putter I do love that sound. That's that that burbler in there. It's wonderful. And then I like, and then I, what? <laughs> and then I like the I like the muscle cars. You know, I, I, the sixties, the seventies, the eighties. No, the Ferraris, the Lamborghinis. Those aren't muscle cars. Those are sports oh. cars. Oh. There's a big difference. See, 
I'm already in trouble. Yeah, you, you don't even know. It's, it's, you just fell off the cliff. I don't so, even know what I like. <laughs> I like all the different ideas and the colors and the people. The customs the, are always and, fabulous. Yeah, the rat rods are very cool. Like they're entering in those, and they're doing all the patinaed ones where they they basically sheen up the rust, so mm -hmm. it, it just like gives the the age of the vehicle on there. I saw a truck. Yeah, it looked like the Sanford and Son truck yeah, with yeah. all the uh, defects in it. So I I got one of those. I. Uh, <laughs> if you help me pull it down the You need to get that, uh, that hybrid uh, limo out there. You know, there ain't well, none of know, those out there. Well, my plan was to, all right, <coughs> the plan was to use the ambulance, right? Amber. Amber. To either pull the airplane or a for sale sign on the Cadillac oh. down the cruise. But Amber's still in the shop. Hey, by, by the way, can you drop me off at the shop after this? No. No. <laughs> I, I definitely am not going to do that. Uh, but, uh, but no, did you hear about Boeing? And they're astronauts? Boeing's astronauts? Yeah. Wait a minute. I didn't know Boeing owned astronauts. Let's talk. What do we got? <laughs> so they took some guys up to the space station, right? Astronaut oh, the guys that there. can't come down. They, they can't get a rocket to go. <laughs> So we'll be up there two weeks. Like, they're going to be up there eight months almost. So, <coughs> the only thing I can relate to this is, like, trying to get a cab in New York as a black guy. Oh, yeah. Is they, that what it is? They're trying to hitchhike off the space station. Why can't they get off the space station? They can't get one of the rockets up there. But they had a scheduled flight. What happened to their return Didn't flight? they? You would think they, what, they were just planning on bumming a ride home? Just thumbing it from space. Dude. <laughs> Dude, I would be like, uh, Elon, little help, sir. <laughs> you know, he can get one up tomorrow. Right. He can get one up tomorrow. And why doesn't he, like, he's like, all right, you guys did it. You keep... <laughs> but I, 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 I've got so many questions. Do you have any answers? I don't know. You got to ask him first. Well, I mean, see, I, this is stuff I could have looked up. Well, I have it right here. What's it say? Why didn't they get picked up? Uh, NASA delays return. Oh, that's a nice way of saying stranded. Isn't that nice? Oh, please. Isn't that nice right there? Look at that. Lovely picture. Lovely. Just lovely. Oh, well, at least he's got company. <clears throat> oh, he's got company. Yeah. Yeah. He's not alone. NASA has again delayed a decision about how to bring home two U.S. astronauts stuck in space. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I like, like that it. word. On the troubled Boeing Starliner mission. And I love how they put their name in there. The U.S. Space Agency said in a press conference on Wednesday that it will make a call by the end of August. Officials also said that the astronaut spacesuits are unsuitable to wear on the alternate spacecraft that will be used if Starliner is deemed unsafe. So the, the, they can't use the rocket because the suits don't hook up with the other. Are you kidding me? What? It's no it, different. It's isn't no that different a hose than, problem? Dude, it's, a, it's, it's, it's Elon Musk's plug on his Teslas versus the, the Chevy. AC. There's no adapter and there's no Ace Hardware store or Home Depot up there for them to run to uh, get one. I understand the challenge. No, I'm, I get it. It's it's. I mean, I, just, I don't know that they've had a universal rocket ship, you know, spacesuit coupling uh, trade show yet this year. <laughs> At Doug's Pug and Pull where yeah, they can get the hose The Javits it. Center. So you can go and get your connectors. That's what duct tape is for. Will you tell uh, these people? Go duct tape. Oh, where's the duct tape? Well, this says Suny Williams and Butch Wilmer. Those are some astronaut names right there. Butch. <laughs> Traveled to the International Space Station on June 5th, expecting to return after eight days. That was their original trip. But the Starline craft ran into trouble when five of those spacecraft's thrusters which helps it maneuver cut out on the approach to the ISS. Ooh. So they almost didn't make it into the International Space Station. They did, right. Well, they made it cut on the approach of the ISS. Helium gas, which pushes fuel into the propulsion system, also leaked. <clears throat> Problems um, that they face are what they uh, consider International Space Station high-level technical issues that require a technical review. 
uh, goes on for a little while. Uh, this is on Wednesdays. The astronaut spacesuits are not interchangeable if they returned on an earlier SpaceX flight. So that's why they can't use Elon Musk because he can get his up there. But there's, I don't know why he wouldn't just send a rocket with some suits. Put one of those toppers on the side of the rocket like you do in your car. <laughs> like a little camper thing you throw on the back of the <laughs> Uh, one of those uh, things that fit in the uh, the trailer hitch. <laughs> <laughs> Had to have two. Yeah, One yeah. on each side so it balances like out. Like if he's sending his things up there, why not just send some suits? I mean, you know, go, well, I'll charge you. And he can charge him quadruple or whatever to get him back. Or, yeah, but, he could uh, go get him or he could send some suits up. Or, I just or, found it extraordinary that they're like, yeah, we use. But are they Republicans? I have no idea, but what I do know okay, is that you have multiple groups sending people in this space, and it's like, yeah, well, uh, good luck with that. I'll just keep sending my rockets up there and feeding them while we wait for you to fix this suit problem. Jeez. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I mean, you know, that's what adventure is. That's what you sign up for when you decide to go into the unknown. You're Kirk signing said up for it the all unknown. the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody watch Star Trek knows that, you know. What? Boundless or something like that. Boundless. And yeah, no one goes where man ever and goes. What so is on that? and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, that's all I know about it, huh? Yeah. That's all so, I know. that's where we're at. How many more minutes do we have? I would say that we have like 30 minutes left. I forgot to hit the start button. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Only because experience would tell me to consider that a true statement. I just wanted to see your face. I just wanted to see your face. No, you're great. Uh, we've got a couple minutes, maybe eight. It's not that much left. Wait, because that has happened before. It has. I mean, we've gone through a whole show. I and understand. It's like, uh, but see, now the so race is on. Point? Had everything plugged up this morning. Right? Between battery, batteries, and everything, and now I'm at five percent. You think five percent so in the last eight minutes? We're ra we're racing, we're racing the clock. Well, that's why I was asking. Which is always a wonderful thing. Which is always a wonderful. So thing. you didn't check anything on uh, on the news or anything happening in the week? You I mean, know, I have been staying away from the news like the plague. But I did. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I can tell you this. Well, there's. I am no longer a Timu virgin. You're no longer a Timu virgin. Timu, they finally got me. <clears throat> What's, what's that? You haven't heard of Timu? This uh, Amazon new shopping thing, shop like a billionaire or something like that? No. To me, it's always looked like the dollar store online. Is it? I don't know. I don't did know. you order something since I you're not a did. virgin? Did you I get did. it? I did. Was it what it said? I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> it's, it's like Schrodinger's cat, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good it's like when they show you this thing, not a good this deal. perfect shirt, and it comes out for a Ken doll or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So until I open the box, it's I'm all winning. Positive. I'm winning. Right. Oh. Yeah, I open the box, it could just all fall apart. So I had a friend of mine, he got some of those collared polo shirts. Okay. And he paid like $6. Uh -huh. And they look great. I mean, they look great. Well, he told me all about it. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Here's why I'm scared. And they give you the free hundred dollars or whatever, right? You know, I didn't play that game. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna play that game, but I had a tent. I bought a tent, a carport, and I screwed up my design, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember with didn't the work wood out and right. the thing everything and was stuff. wrong. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. I thought in my head. That's okay. where you typically do it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the tent won't work. What should I do? And I looked down, and Timu said, click here. I've got a tent the size you need. So it's listed. I don't even know if I said it out loud. <laughs> so it was reading your thoughts. That's way worse. I think I just thought it. I th you think Is you there any it. other proof or evidence that these things are reading? <laughs> <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, I don't remember saying it out loud. I really don't. But I needed, you do mumble, I needed a tent that had 11 foot clearance. Right? Yeah, yeah, I remember. And sure enough, that's what it showed me. But I know that I probably talked about it enough for yeah, yeah. Siri to have heard me talk about it. And Siri, you, you know, Siri's a slut. She talks. <coughs> so she probably told Timu. Mm. And then Timu. Yeah, yeah. So they're all in cahoots now. Well, and well, with this AI. 
we don't have a chance. Well, you're going to have to, well, of course not. But you're, you're going to have to, it's all of the world's information versus you. Like, of course you're going to lose. Now, moving on. Go. Uh, Kamala Harris has updated some of her stuff, and they locked down the border, and it's the lowest amount of people coming across the border since uh, um, Biden. Well, how are they going to vote for her if she can't want to let them across the border? You know, that's the first thing I'd do if I uh, ran into a foreign country. You know, if I snuck into a foreign country, the first thing I would do is go vote. And sign up for health care. You know, I don't have an outhouse sitting here for the turds you've been chucking at me during this show. But it's okay. <laughs> They're tiny turds. Anyway. Tiny turds. And she did say that she would eliminate uh, taxes on uh, tips, which is good. Because that's how a lot of people make their money. But, I, I mean, aren't they saying that he's, she's just copying uh, what... Uh... Well, as you told me, that uh, if it's a good idea, use it. And it is a good idea, a good and idea. it should be used. Yep, Trump did come up with how it first. How do you but tax tips? I don't know. How do you track right. tips? Well, everything goes online, and they put the tips on your card, right? No. I yeah. mean, I give tips of cash all the time. How do you track a tip? Not cash tips. Oh. Well, then the waitresses just need to st stop taking credit need cards. Need people to stop paying with card? It's a bad thing. It, it really is. It's the stupidest thing. You see thing. how I just slashed the these arguments thing we have? Ever like a gazelle, did. I'm moving. We moved from cash to card, and now they're charging us to pay our bills. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? I went to go pay my water bill, and they said, sir, there'll be a 2% charge for yeah. using your card. debit card. Now, that's just like writing a check. Yeah. Why are you charging? You know what I mean? If it was a credit card, I would see it, but that's even wrong. Listen, don't So start. now we're paying to, oh. to pay people. Pay pay. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they make it. And then they're making you do it. So now that I hired the person that you used to have to least pay to take my money, and now you're pimping me. Pimping. 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 When I work and don't get paid, I'm, pimp I'm being pimped. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you use a hoe. I use a <laughs> oh man, that's so funny. At least I admit it. Most people don't realize it. But every time you go to Kroger and swipe them groceries. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a percentage on the thing. Anyways, I hope I hope uh, Harris and who did she get? Tim, what's his name? Who's her VP? It doesn't matter. Anyways, who has the VP? I, hopefully they get their agenda on there. I'm glad they're getting some stuff together. I'm glad the border's getting... Uh, closer, all that stuff. So we'll see what happens. I'm still in the JFK. I don't care if he loses. Right now, he's got my vote. So <laughs> I don't even care. It's like, you guys are ridiculous. So, so, wait, what is he claiming to be? Is he liberal, Republican, Democrat, are you JFK? Serious? I'm 100% serious. I don't, I'll let you serious. take a guess. I think he's Bernie he's Sanders' a Kennedy. younger cousin. <laughs> he's a Kennedy. You take a guess. Like, he's a real liberal. He's a, you is know he what I mean? Guy? Yeah. So who would his running mate be? Man, that's a great question. I don't know. I don't know if he's a good guy. I don't know if he needs to. All right. Well, listen, we're almost out of time, so I'm going to take an opportunity to encourage you guys to get involved with Public Access Television. You too. 810-239-2901. That's 810-239-2901. What are you laughing at? I'm that, trying to be serious. Man, you were doing great. I was until you, you messed me you, up. You were bumping him. 2901. That's right. <laughs> Uh, we do Fact Channel 17, 18, uh, WFOV 92.1 LP FM Flint. We're looking for DJs. If you guys even share your playlist, that's that, that's an easier way to say it. If you want to call it a DJ and you want to say something nice in between the songs, that's fine too. 810-259-9789. Uh, Isaac, you got anything you got to say on the way out? Oh, man, just keep helping the people. It's really good to see you guys. Can't wait for next week. Hope this stupid was worth Easier than you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never told you about me getting assaulted. Assaulted? I got assaulted. How much did you get assaulted? Downtown Flint. Huh? Huh? Assaulted for real? I got assaulted downtown Flint. Okay. Five cop cars, eight cops. What? You think I'm joking? Oh, no, I, re I actually remember you telling me this. I got. What you doing? What you doing, man? You trying to assault me again? I was just making sure you <laughs> know what it's like so to get hit. We'll talk about that next time. As always, there'll be more after this. <laughs> Let me get what I want. If I was president.